This is a stark departure from lunar space stations orbiting like sentinels, such as Artemis's ambitious lunar gateway. Moon bases, versatile in purpose, span the scope from robotic envoys to human footprints. This is more than a habitation. It's a pivotal stride, a precursor to colonization, a journey truly carved by the daring ambition of space companies. Embarking on a lunar journey, the starship, a celestial behemoth, stands as the missing link in NASA's grand equation. With the robust SLS launcher flexing its muscles to boost astronauts towards lunar orbit and the steadfast Orion spacecraft serving as a sanctuary for a quartet of intrepid astronauts, the scene is set for a voyage encircling the moon's enigmatic sphere. Yet, a conspicuous void remains, a gap that craves to be bridged. A vehicle to transport the crew from Orion's haven to the moon's ancient surface, and then back to the heavens. This critical task, laden with excitement and danger, finds itself outsourced to the realm of private enterprise. Recalling the bygone era of Apollo, NASA orchestrated a daring ballet installing a compact lunar lander within the very bosom of the rocket that hurled forth their command module. Disguised within the Saturn V cargo fairing, the lunar vessel bided its time beneath the watchful gaze of the service module. A cosmic waltz ensued, the upper stage and capsule parting ways, their paths intertwining once more, locking in an orbital embrace. The command module's visage nestled into the lunar module, sealing their stellar pact. Then, amid the vacuum of space, the service module thrusters choreographed the delicate extraction, liberating the lander from the rocket's grasp. Together, they flew toward the moon, making it a harmonious voyage of human endeavor, all produced manually as automation slumbered in the yet-to-be-explored realm of possibility. Now it's time to enter the Artemis era, also a renaissance of lunar aspirations. Yet the logistical symphony of last year stutters in the face of modern complexity is still something not to be neglected. The SLS roars to life with a majestic fervor eclipsing even that of Saturn V's liftoff, yet the torch it carries is one of diminished capacity. Where the Apollo rocket bestowed 43 metric tons upon the moon's doorstep, the SLS settles at a respectable 27 tons, a sum sufficient for Orion's entourage, yet a little offering in comparison. The echoes of history repeat in the roar of that liftoff, but as the dust of nostalgia settles, the arithmetic of progress dictates a different rhythm. However, NASA doesn't only desire survival anymore, content with a frail hidden moon lander. Artemis has more elevated ambitions. It craves to engrave a resolute and indomitable human saga on the moon's natural surface. To secure this audacious foothold, a lander of unparalleled fortitude is imperative, one capable of upheaving monumental structures while nestling a crew for their epic lunar tours lasting an entire week. Before you explore the grand tapestry of Artemis, a tale woven with the threads of two colossal rockets, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. So recently, SpaceX was awarded the coveted inaugural human landing system contract by NASA. Their creation, a titan among machines, dwarfs the rest, boasting unmatched might. Granted, it might not boast practicality, but here's a deal breaker SpaceX has been stealthily conquering the skies, notching impressive strides in the realm of launches. Hardware resembling the mighty Raptor engine having successfully danced triumphantly on Falcon 9 in Falcon Heavy stages. Always the audacious adventurer, NASA placed their faith in Elon Musk's assertion that his team would decipher the code by 2025. Moreover, they have been skillfully charting an admirable course up to this point, crafting a tale of engineering brilliance. In the Chronicles of Innovation, April 2023 witnessed the inaugural flight of Starship, a soaring testament to humanity's ambition. Yet, fate played its hand, a detonation echoing across the cosmos. But let's not clutch our pearls just yet. SpaceX, the resilient Phoenix, is ready to cut the voyage up like a woodcarver. Previously, a little setback now opened the way for an even greater ascension. Mark the words, the summer horizon will shimmer with the possibility of a great reprise a Starship Symphony conducted again as early as June. Cast your gaze towards the moon, for the lunar starship readies its wings. A kinship with its terrestrial brethren and Boca Chica is undeniable. 
a cosmic edit, forsaking the black heat shield and the majestic arrow flaps, adornments unneeded in the moon's airless embrace, liberated. From this terrestrial weight, the starship shifts, adorned with upgrades befitting its lunar ballet. Look as the lunar surface awaits a desolate canvas yearning for connection. Gone are the towering robots, the chopstick-armed giants. Spindly prototypes of history won't be enough, not in this lunar trip. Stability demands a wider stance, akin to the proud Falcon 9 booster. The vessel's heart, too, will thrum anew with landing thrusters. Imaginations painted these thrusters into existence, nestled along the sides, navigational virtuosos guiding the ship's celestial descent. This marvel, architected for Earth and Mars, wields aeroflaps to command its trajectory, but on the moon's breathless expanse, this art of aeronautics falls silent. Gravity, too, plays coy in the moon's embrace, gentle, as if fearing to disturb its secrets. A curious puzzle for raptor engines, fierce and formidable, might be too much for this lunar journey unless craters are to be the new companions on the moon's visage. But fear not, for SpaceX isn't done weaving its cosmic choreography. A challenge was unveiled, a towering skyscraper 50 meters tall, fuel-laden, leaving a negligible slice of space for the intrepid crew, grounded yet yearning to touch lunar soil. This time, both payloads and pioneers entrusted to its care are a vital bridge to the moon's heart. But what about the crew's safe haven? A haven lies atop this massive structure, a vast void, a magnificent tribute to forethought, nine meters wide and infinite in possibilities. Quarters beckon, a home for the lunar voyagers, replete with promise for a week-long sojourn. Pressurized sanctuaries, a symphony of life support systems, proven in the crucible of Dragon's Embrace, adapted to the lunar canvas. Here, SpaceX finds relief in what's known, while the siren calls of Mars looms, beckoning with the enigma of life's breath in the cosmos. Yet the final step remains a docking port nestled within the ship's crown, a portal connecting Orion's realm with the promise of Starship. Astronauts pass through and the vehicles unite in a tango of steel and dreams. The thrust that eclipses the once mighty Saturn V, payload capacity doubled, unfurling an era where the moon beckons, 100 metric tons of possibility wrapped within the steel tapestry of a 9 meter wide, 50 meter tall craft. But there is also a cosmic twist. This behemoth, fueled by its launch reserves, bows to the vacuum's power. Stranded just hundreds of miles above Earth, it desires for more and hungry for the lunar embrace. In this dance of ambitions, refueling becomes the Enigma's key. The tanker starship emerges, stripped of amenities, a reservoir on a journey. The journey is an intricate symphony of docking maneuvers and propellant transfer. Reusable hopes converge with soaring dreams, aiming for cost-effectiveness among the stars. Yet the endeavor is complicated, with challenges on board. Reusable wonders must materialize in numbers unimagined. Pressure mounts in tangible quests for lunar proof for safe passages. The countdown echoes in the ears, whispers of Artemis, first steps, circling moons, and triumphant splashes. Meanwhile, NASA's Artemis rises tried and tested. SLS is adorned with a history of struggles and is ready for Artemis's grandeur. As the tides of Artemis fluctuate, the vessel stands, hardware in tow, engines primed, amid questions about cost, fragility, and waste.